Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the Maryland Darling Show. Today, we're looking at another blue ink. This one is from Institute Jade Vine. Thanks go out to Gary and Kathy Scott for providing the sample for this review. I've never heard of Institute inks before. Here is our comparison panel. It looks like a nice tealy leaning blue turquoise. Here is our ink swatch, so we'll go to inkswatch.com later on today. Here's our ink splotch. I see like hints of like purple in here. And then in our toilet paper chromatography, you can kind of see that there is just a little bit of purple -y going on right here and right here at the edge. And then there's like a, a turquoise and then a very light blue at the edge. All right, let's do some paper review, shall we? This is the Pen and Gear Memo Book from Walmart.com. No feathering. No bleeding, no ghosting. Maybe a tiny bit of ghosting. I might still use the back side of this paper. 52 GSM Tomoy River paper. No feathering. No bleeding, no ghosting. I would totally use the back side of this paper. Fabriano Eco. Wait. Rodia Dot Pad. 80 GSM. No feathering. No bleeding, no ghosting. I would totally use the back side of this paper. Fabriano Eco Quat. 85 GSM. No feathering. No bleeding, no ghosting. I would totally use the back side of this paper. Ayush 100 GSM paper. No feathering. No bleeding, no ghosting. I would totally use the back side of this paper. The Premier Premium Journal from the 99 cent store. Feathered like a chicken. Bled through the page. I would not use the back side of this paper. Nemesine. 80 GSM. No feathering. It does look like it's trying to bleed through. Yep, that's definitely ghosting. I might still use the back side of this paper. Claire Fontaine, 90 GSM. No feathering. I did, I grabbed two pages. No bleeding, no ghosting. I would totally use the back side of this paper. Lamy Booklet, 90 GSM. No feathering. No bleeding, no ghosting. I would totally use the back side of this paper. Exceed, 100 GSM heavyweight paper. It does look like it's trying to feather. And it did bleed through a little bit. I might not use the back side of this paper. HP Premium 32 pound copy paper. It does look like it spread into the page. And it did ghost. I might not use the back side of this paper. Oxford College Rolled Notebook Paper. No feathering. No bleeding, no ghosting. I would totally use the backside of this paper. Mead, wide rolled notebook paper. Feathered like a chicken. Bled through the page. I would not use the backside of this paper. CVS, caliber notebook paper. 
No feathering. No bleeding, no ghosting. I would totally use the back side of this paper. And the best for last. Unison Composition Book from Target for 50 cents. No feathering. No bleeding, no ghosting. I would totally use the back side of this paper. Alright, let's look at a comparison panel. This is Ink Institute Jade Vine. Let's take a look at some teal inks. So it's kind of tealy leaning. This is Diamine Yuletide. Oops, I'm a little cockeyed. Diamine Yuletide, Diamine Sub-Zero, these look like they could be cousins, Birmingham Cerulean, Ferris Wheel Press, Bluegrass Velvet, Jeaba, Emerald of Chavar, Diamine Teal, Private Reserve Blue Suede, Robert Oster Pacific Ocean Teal, Pen BBS 385. Okay, now let's look at some more blues. We'll look at some different blues. This is Birmingham Damselfly, Pannonia Hepacac, or Whoopi Blue, Diamine Thunderbolt, Noodler's Baltimore Canyon Blue, Diamine Ferris Wheel Press. Timeless Blue, Roar and Clear Conigs Blau, Private Reserve DC Super Show Blue, Diamond Radiant Blue, Jehaban Kainai du Nepal, Califolio Mediterranean, Noodler's Navajo Turquoise, Diamine Havasu Turquoise, Robert Oster Lake of Fire, Birmingham Blizzard Twinkle, Organic Studio Ralph Waldo Emerson Twilight Blue, Diatramentus Robert Louis Stevenson South Seas Blue, Freedom of the Starry Skies Blue, Sailor Manio Nadashiko, Cross Blue, Lamy Blue, Tasha Jeans Light Washed, Colorverse Cotton Blue, Sailor Manio Haha, Krishna Primary Blue, Birmingham Pen Company Angelfish, Sailor Manio Konagi, oops, Aurora Blue, Diamine Odenel, Noodler's Blue Nose Bear, Kyono Oto Hizoku, Diamine Florida Blue, Pilot Roshizuku Kompeki, Diamine Blue Lightning, Krishna Light Blue, Jeobam Blue Provinch, Cal um, Monteverde Capri Blue, KWZ Hawaii Blue, Noodler's Navajo Turquoise Twinkle, Organic Studio Nitrogen, Carcos Turquoise, Monteverde Caribbean Blue, Twisby Sky Blue, Pen BBS 386, Stipulate Light Blue, Birmingham Monongala, Krishna Cyan Twinkle, Levenger Blue Bahama, Diamond Aqua Lagoon, and Diamond Steel Blue. Phew! That's a lot of blues. looking through my greens really quick to see. Nope. Okay, good. All right. Well, what did you guys think of today's ink? Are you guys looking for a really pretty neutrally blue? Let me know in the comment section below. I did want to make a comment really quick that um, today my pen is the I started out with the 
Platinum Preppy, and you see about how far I got before switching into my Noodler's Conrad for the day because it was just way too light. If you put this in a fine, dry nib, you're going to get an entirely different experience than if you put it in a very wet, flexible nib. So I just wanted to point that out. But this is a beautiful color. I intend to use it for the rest of the day, as I usually do for my journaling. And if you guys are interested in this ink, let me know in the comment section below. That is all for today. I want to thank you all for watching. I hope that you guys enjoyed that one. I hope that you learned something. Please share this video with your friends. Follow me on social media. Like, comment, subscribe, ring the little bell. Make sure it's set to all so when I upload new content, YouTube notifies you. And I will be back very soon with another video. So take care until then. Okay, love you. Bye.